That's the way of our world. Xenoblade Chronicles 3. This game features a stunning graphics that combine vibrant anime inspired visuals with detailed, expansive environments. The game showcases vast, beautifully crafted landscapes from lush forests and rolling plains to majestic mountains and futuristic cities, each rendered with rich textures and dynamic lighting. Character models are intricately designed with expressive faces and fluid animations that bring the story and combat to life. The game's use of lighting and weather effects such as sunlight, filtering through trees and dramatic skies enhances the immersive atmosphere. Special effects during combat including flashy attacks and magical abilities add excitement and visual appeal. Overall, Xenoblade Chronicles 3's graphics create a visually captivating and immersive world that draws players into its epic narrative and exploration. Uroboros abhor this world. They must be erased without a trace. Number 9 we have Nier Automata. This game excels in graphics through its unique art direction, detailed environments, and fluid animation. As you can see just from the combat alone, the animation is just like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like you are dancing with the game itself. The game's post-apocalyptic world blends industrial decay with natural beauty, featuring desolate cityscapes, lush forests, and stark deserts, all rendered with a hauntingly beautiful aesthetic. The character models, especially 2B and 9S, are designed with meticulous attention to detail. You know what I mean, like, quote unquote, detail. Combining slick, the lighting and shadow effects are expertly crafted in this game, creating atmospheric and immersive scenes that enhance the emotional impact of the narrative. Additionally, the game's dynamic camera angles and seamless transitions between gameplay and cutscenes provide a cinematic experience that highlights the game's artistic and technical prowess. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wilds. That there's no doubt that this game is such a gorgeous game to look at, even in Nintendo Switch. Just take a look at the scenery in this game, the mountains, the serene lakes, and with the game's unique cell shaded art style with vibrant colors and watercolor-like aesthetics gives it a timeless look. Dynamic weather effects and lighting effects, like sunlight filtering through trees and realistic rainstorms, it enhances the immersive experience of the game. The attention of details to the environments, like when you are using a fire or throwing a fire and then it will burn down, like the grass will burn down, it is just an immersive, immersive game that you have to experience it by yourself. Next, without a doubt, we have Octopath Traveler 2, or you know, Octopath Traveler 1. So Octopath Traveler features a distinct and charming graphical style that blends retro and modern elements. The game uses a unique HD 2D aesthetic, now they say it like that, which combines pixel art with high definition effects. This results in beautifully detailed environments where 2D sprites are placed in 3D settings. Enhanced with dynamic lighting, shadows, and depth of field, the character sprites are nostalgic and pixelated, reminiscent of classic JRPGs. While the backgrounds and environments are richly textured and layered, the lighting effects such as sunbeams filtering to trees and flickering lanterns add a magical, almost diorama-like quality to the visuals. This combination of old-school charm and contemporary graphical techniques creates a visually captivating and enchanting world. <laughs> Your fate was sealed the moment you stood against us. Ritsu, wait! Who wants to die Come, next? Come! No escape! There! Go! Take this! Tales of Arise. Now, this is like a soft reboot to the game 
with the visuals of course and when you see it for the first time man the graphics is so impressive and it is highlighted by its stunning art direction vibrant environments and detailed character designs the game uses an atmospheric shader that gives it a unique painterly aesthetic almost the same like breath of the wild but enhanced a bit in this game the environments are richly detailed too from lush forests and expansive plains to intricate cities and mystical landscapes each rendered with vibrant colors and dynamic weather effects that enhance immersion again character models in this game oh my god it is so beautifully crafted it has this i don't know like xenoblade chronicles 3 and the combat sequences are visually spectacular too featuring dynamic camera angles flashy special effects and smooth transition well, actually not that smooth but you get the idea yeah it is creating an engaging and visually captivating experience if you want to play this game so yeah i do recommend if you want to you know experience a pretty good jrpg uh, with a beautiful graphics and you know this is not an old game i mean Persona 5 Royale, of course we have to talk about Persona 5 Royale in this list. This game stands out with its striking and stylish graphics. Characterized by a bold anime inspired art style, the game features highly detailed character models with expressive faces and dynamic animation that brings the characters to life. The environments are, you know, it's, it's alright I guess, but you gotta see the menus man. The game's UI is so spectacular with its sleek, dynamic, and visually engaging menus that enhances the overall aesthetics of this game. Man, this game is just horny for style. So stylish visual effects accompany the game's combat and special abilities, adding flair and excitement to every battle. You really don't want to stop playing this game. Just because of the style itself, uh, the art direction, the menus, and basically the graphical note that is really, really good. And I don't know, man, it, it is just spectacular. That's all I have to say. Monster Hunter World! Of course, it is going in my list. This game is so, so good. So, so appealing to the eyes. So this game showcases stunning graphics that highlight its richly detailed environments like the grass, the fidelity of all the... It is so dense. Oh my god. And you can see the tracks of the monsters in this game. So it does speak something, right? You can see all the footprints. You can see all the birds chirping and whatnot. Oh my god. The environment is teeming with life with intricate details such as like swaying foliage, flowing water, and dynamic weather effects that enhance immersion to the game. And the monsters themselves are incredibly detailed with realistic textures, fluid animations, and distinctive designs that make each encounter feel epic. The lighting and particle effects such as the way light filters through the trees or the sparks from a fury attack add to the game's visual appeal. Overall, the combination of detailed environments, lifelike creatures, and dynamic effects makes Monster Hunter World a visually breathtaking experience. Blue, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. You know, you gotta admit, when you first saw this game, you are captivated by the visuals itself, not the gameplay. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess the gameplay, but for me, it is the visuals, the presentation of this game. It is so, so good. So, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink brings the charm of anime to life with its vibrant and detailed graphics. Characters are beautifully designed with eye catching costumes and smooth animations that make combat feel dynamic and exciting. With its blend of traditional anime style and modern graphics, Grand Blue Fantasy Real Link promises a visually captivating adventure that's a treat for the eyes. And yeah, I kid you not, man. If you play this game, you will be blinded by the graphics. Even for me. Like, I gotta tone down the graphics in this game. But it is just too beautiful to look at, man. I gotta say, I have to admit. So if you wanna enjoy a good looking JRPG, then this game is for you and you will not get bored even though the combat is a bit a bit 
on the repetitive side, but it is still very addictive. Nice having you close by. And number two, we have Final Fantasy Rebirth. Now, I know there's a lot of complaint regarding, you know, some of the textures not loading in the PS5. But when you just take a look at this game, it's just beautiful. The cutscenes, the animation, the flow of the combat. It is just pleasing to the eyes, like you don't want to stop playing this game. The character models are incredibly detailed with lifelike expressions. Like I said, fluid animations that captures the essence of the original characters while adding new layers of depth. Man, the game's visual effects, oh my god, the spell casting, the magic, the firaga. Oh my god, I don't know what to say. It is just spectacular in my eyes. This game plays really good and it is visually stunning. Just go get this game and play it. I know you will you will have a ton of fun playing it for maybe hundreds of hours, maybe even more. And in number one, of course, it is Final Fantasy 15. And why this is in number one is because this game is like 15 years old or like maybe 10 to 15 years old. And this game still looks stunning and probably the benchmark of graphical fidelity in a game. I know Cyberpunk is going to be like the benchmark of gaming, but people will not forget about this game when you ask what is the best graphical JRPG out there or game out there? And people will say Final Fantasy 15, and they all will say that this game looks amazing. Just take a look at the open worldness of this game, like the mountains, the dance of the forest, all the greeneries and whatnot, all the characters model that are super super detailed, uh, the textures of this game, it is just amazing to look at. I know there is Final Fantasy 16, well I guess it has a better graphics, but it is made in like nowadays era. Not in like a couple years back or way way back like 10 years ago. So Final Fantasy 15, man the graphics remain a testament to Square Enix commitment to pushing the boundaries of visual storytelling in gaming and this game speaks for itself. Well, I think that's pretty much it for my top 10 graphically stunning JRPGs. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys again on the next one. Bye guys.